If you're in the market for a travel tripod and don't want to spend loads of money, you're gonna to need to watch this video. I'm gonna take you through my top three travel tripods on the cheap. A quick look online and you see tripod reviews are pretty well covered. So I wasn't going to do a top three, but after looking at some videos of what are my favorite bargains, I decided they were all pretty sh and that I'm gonna have to do one. So here it is. I'm gonna take a look at the KNF Concept 62 inch, the ESDDI 64 inch, and the Manfrotto Compact Advance. I'm just gonna say it's 65 inches. The Manfrotto tripod, that is, that's what I'm talking about. You see the other two have the, the size next to them and I wanna make this seem impartial, so I included it for Manfrotto just so it sounds fair, although it's not because ultimately Manfrotto is gonna win. The KNF's compact aluminium tripod is lightweight and that comes in at just one and a half kilos. It also has the added benefit of a detachable leg, which can serve you as a monopod. The tripod can support a payload of 10 kilos, which is to say the leg clamps, they're not gonna lose any grip when under the weight of your camera. They've got so much headroom. Its special feature is that it can be inverted. You can take out that central column and flip it upside down and underslung mount your camera. That reminds me of that scene in Top Gun where, because I was inverted. The aesthetics of the KNF tripod is certainly quite striking. I love that burnt orange, those accents. They, they really do, they do a great job at defining it and this gets extra kudos points for that. The quick release plate is one of the worst in class. It's the most difficult to release. If it's done up tight to secure your camera, once your camera is mounted, then the tightening screw is so hard to release. There's, there's literally a few mil clearance between the base of your camera and the top of the fastener. There is also a spirit level bubble on the camera mount plate. But as soon as you place your camera on the tripod, well, you can't see where the bubble is underneath the camera. Next up is the ESDDI 64 inch. This tripod weighs in at 1.3 kilos and has the added benefit of that detachable leg, which will serve you as a monopod. The tripod can support a payload of eight kilos, which is to say those twist grips on the extendable legs are not going to lose any grip. The special feature of this travel tripod are much like the KNF. It has a central weight hook, the same as the KNF. It has uh, press release clips to quickly spread the legs. And that goes through three stages all the way out to horizontal. Also like the KNF tripod, you can go because I was inverted. The quick release plate. Well, Although it's got a longer arm than the KNF tripod, it sadly fails with the same issue. It's just too close to the camera body to effectively tighten. And if you tighten it to secure, then it's an issue to loosen afterwards. Also like the KNF tripod, the spirit level bubble is placed right next to the release plate. When the camera's on it, you can't see if it's level, making it unusable. Finally, let's take a look at the Manfrotto Compact Advanced. This tripod weighs in at 1.4 kilos. This tripod does not feature a central weighted hook as it only supports three kilos of payload. So that makes it really only suitable for carrying a camera. The special feature of this tripod, much like the ESDDI and the KNF, is that you can go 
underslung, or as I like to call it now, converted. But on this tripod, it's far quicker to achieve. You can switch around the way that your camera is sat simply by a quick release button, much like you would see commonly on a walking stick. The pan and tilt on this tripod are achieved very differently. There's two ergonomic levers that offer enough length to precisely align your shot. That means that you can smoothly pan. They also fold away nice and easily, making it perfect for travel. The quick release plate is the best in class, although the head is more of a plastic pick than a crafted alloy. It still proves itself as fit for purpose with a simple lever action letting you mount and dismount your camera. The minimum size is considerably smaller than the other two tripods, yet when fully extended, it offers an extra inch on top of the ESDDI. The Manfrotto is both a shower and a grower. That's what she said. <laughs> As for the bad bits, well, you can often find this tripod for $70 online, but it normally retails at 100, so that's kind of bad. You might have to shop around. And I've spent a fair bit of time thinking, what can I say that's negative about this tripod that I love so much? And that is, if we put this in the pro camera category, it's, it's a rubbish tripod in that category. So my final thoughts, all of these tripods allow you to securely shoot landscape or portrait. They have a solid place in my top three to consider. But which do I always pick up? for convenience and ease. And for me, that's the Manfrotto Compact Advanced. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you want to read more, then be sure to check out our blog. There's also some links below, so do be sure to take a look at that. And do remember, thumbs show love, so be careful where you stick them. See you in the next one. Bye. Before you go, you were probably wondering about a giveaway. Will there be another giveaway? And yes, there will. This is one of AJ's favorite. <laughs> no touch. Uh, this is no. the giveaway. A tripod. That's Video mine. Tripod That's mine. Has your yeah. We agreed we would take turns. Yeah, but we're not giving my Eva away. That will get loads of subscribers, loads of interest. So will your tripod. Come on. When are we going to start giving your stuff away? So you heard it. Uh, I really like you as an audience, I value you, and therefore I want to give you the greatest value. AJ would rather you had one of my tripods. I don't know how you feel about that. Maybe you could not enter the competition because you want me to keep it.